stat list for this Bills team, it's rank first, rank first, rank first. Just how good are they playing right now? Yeah, they're talented. They're probably playing as good as anybody in the league right now. Um, I mean, they, they do it all. They can run the ball. They can throw the ball. They can create X plays. Um, it's going to be a big challenge for us because uh, they're hitting on all cylinders right now. Mike was talking about Allen's improvement in throwing the deep ball. How much have you seen from that over the last couple of years? Yeah, I mean, it, you show, it shows up even last week, right, against Kansas City. He hit a few, even the one out of the pocket when he's scrambling. He hits Knox on a dime right on the sideline, and he takes it in. So um, he's improved. He has. He uh He's got full control of that offense, what they're doing. I think he's learned as he's kind of went through this thing. And, um, I mean, he does a good job running the show for him, getting him in the right plays uh, based on what he's seeing, um, finding the playmakers, getting it in their hands. Um, so he's, he's a good time. He's a big time quarterback. He is. And he's kind of taking that next step. Sorry about that. If you don't have Christian, is, you, is Caleb to the point now where he could help you in a game like this? Yeah, I, I think all those guys got to be ready to go based on who's available, um, whether it's Caleb. Um, based on where guys kind of fit, you know. So we just got to see as the week progresses where we're at with those guys and uh, see where it goes. Uh, they pretty much spread three, four wide 85, 90 percent of the time. And maybe what, what challenge does that present for, for TB? Yeah, they're, I mean, they're a lot of 11 personnel, one tight end game, three receivers. Um, they'll mix in some of the two back stuff and put 41 in there as a fullback and some 12. So they got a little bit of everything. Um, but they spread you out, right? They spread you out to to give those guys some space um, to really play play off those those ZBs, right? They're trying to create some space for those guys to get open, catch the ball, and they can all run with it. Shane, you guys have had a chance here to see Allen now for more than a couple seasons in a row. Have you been able to watch how he's matured and and, and the quarterback that he's become? Yeah. And does that help at all? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, it's a new year. I I think every year is a new year, kind of with where things are at, um, but they've been rolling. And I, like I said earlier, I think just his control of their offense and understanding what's going on, what they're trying to get accomplished on every play. And you see them a lot of times canning out of stuff if it's not a good look and trying to get them in the right play. Um, and he's he's done it successfully, right? So I think just taking that next step um, as a quarterback, that's obviously paid dividends for him here early in the season. What are your and along memories? with that in their short yardage pack, there's so much QB power. Like, what type of extra, not stress, but like extra strain is that put on, on you as a, as a coordinator? Yeah, I mean, anytime the quarterback can run the ball, they, they're in essence creating numbers, right? You got to, they're playing with 11 now. You got to end up somehow playing with 11 as well. Um, and it's a challenge because he's so big and he's so strong, and you rarely see him getting knocked back. He's always falling forward. Um, and he runs away from guys. Like, he was running away from those guys, a DB from Kansas City the other day, right? So that's always a challenge. Um, but the thing that stands out to me is just his size and his strength and being able to, like, you can hit them, but it doesn't feel, it doesn't really look like they affect them too much when they hit them. Any memories from last year's game against Buffalo and the, kind of the chaos that, that led up to it? Uh, if I remember right, you were away from the team. Is that? I was back. I was back by Buffalo, yep. How difficult that was, and then to come out with the performance that you guys. Yeah, it was a uh, it was a unique situation that hopefully we never have to go through again. I think we maybe practiced once and walked through. Um, I mean, I think the guys had a chip on their shoulder just because of all the stuff that kind of went went on um, with our team. Um, I think the guys came out with a chip on their shoulder, and they showed up and they were ready to play. They banged up at inside backer. I mean, how much does it help to get a guy like Avery coming here, knows what you're doing, and maybe how, did, how can he help you? Yeah, I think just his uh, his experience playing, his production. Um, he's been a productive player in this league. Um, he understands fits. He, he's got a ton of tackles. He gets guys on the ground. Um, so having a veteran who's kind of been through it, regardless of the scheme, just – I mean, everybody does a lot of the same stuff, right? Like, but just his presence and understanding kind of what offenses are trying to do, like that experience is going to be big for us, I think, and just hit for him being able to come in here and get adjusted. Obviously, game action is different, but how it has but progressed in the last week and a half since he has been out there on the practice field? Yeah, I think it's uh, day by day right now with him. Um, I mean, we'll see where it's at come Monday night. Um, but I think it's day by day, just trying to get him more comfortable with everything, see where he, see where he's at each day. And then we take it, go on to the next day and kind of see where he's at from there. Rashawn, maybe on a, on a couple plays, had some trouble with the, the correct gaps uh, last week. Uh, do, do linebackers sometimes 
in those kind of situations? Do they do they guess and, and should they should they not be guessing? How, how does that? Yeah, I mean, it's not always it's not always one guy. Um, I think there's a bunch of different looks that come into play. Those guys got to be able to see a lot of a lot of different things. They it's it's a different offense than it was 20 years ago, right? Like it's not too back straight downhill. I mean, there's flashers, there's jetters, there's all this window dressing to try to catch their eyes. Um, and whether it's front all the way to the back end, I think all of us just got to make sure we're doing a good job understanding where our eyes got to go, how we got to adjust to some of that stuff as it plays out. But with the growth curve of that one guy over your time here, it doesn't seem to have improved to the level the defense needs. Yeah, I think he's working right now to continue to learn and understand that, that what we're doing, and I think he has. I think he has taken the next step there. I wouldn't say last week was really on him. I really wouldn't um, in terms of some of those plays. Um, but I think he's, it's always a constant battle with all these guys to continue day in and day out to continue to try to improve on what they're doing and then to be able to go out there on Sunday, Monday night, and take what we've done in practice and apply it in the, in the game in terms of execution, no matter what position you're at. And it changes. Like every week's a new week. You play different offenses. You, you're, you got somewhat of a different scheme defensively as it plays into it. So just understanding you got to be able to turn the page, no matter who it is, and be able to learn throughout the week what we're trying to get accomplished, what we're going to see, and then ultimately be able to go do it on Monday. You're watching Amani, how much you checking with him to see how he feels, and maybe how much would he help if he could be back in the in the lineup? Yeah, I mean we'll see we'll see how the week week goes. Um, I mean he's in the return to play right now, so who knows? Um, I mean we'll start getting him to do a little bit just to see where it goes. But um, hopefully we can get him back sooner and later. You know I think uh, he's done a good job for us in training camp, and then when he was out there, he's done a good job for us. So looking forward to getting him back whenever that is. You've been happy with just the maybe momentum a little more with the turnovers in games? Yeah, I mean, it was nice to get two the other day, right? Um, always looking for turnovers is a big key in this game last year, right? Ultimately, that that's kind of what did it for us. We, we were able to get three of them last year. Um, it's something we got to continue to stress, continue to harp on, um, and hopefully they can keep coming. So sign maybe that we're seeing a little bit of, of kind of the old Kevin Byard, if you will, when he's always around the ball and – you know, in, in place for an interception, in place for a fumble recovery. Yeah, he's uh, he, he's doing a good job for us, man. He's our leader. He runs the show. He's our communicator. Um, and he's he's getting himself in some positions to make some plays, and he's making them, you know. And, and that's what we expect of him. That's what he expects of himself. And it's kind of showing up right now, and hopefully that can continue. Do you feel sacks are, are an overrated stat just as far as overall way to evaluate a, a, a defensive player? Yeah, I mean, I think you always – I do. I mean, I do. I think uh, that's what they're measured on, though, right? Everybody's going to look at their sack totals. But I think pressure, the ability to affect the quarterback, whatever it might be, like you could be on your way. You could have the cleanest rush imaginable and get to the quarterback, and he's throwing the ball, and you don't even hit him, right? Or the quarterback could hold it, and you could be getting blocked up, and just by pure effort, right, you get off a block, and you go sack him, right? So, I mean, what's, what's best there? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're really winning – your rush, but at the same time, you're not getting any statistics, st stats from it, right? Or you're not really winning your rush and you're, they're blocking you, but because you play a little bit harder and you got more effort, you end up getting a sack, right? So I think, I mean, I think it's a fine line. I think it truly just, a, we talk all the time about affecting the quarterback, finding ways to affect the quarterback. Hopefully we are able to get those sacks and create some negative plays. Obviously that's the objective, but I don't think that's the end game when you're evaluating a rusher. Last week, good, good for uh, Elijah's confidence too. I know there had been some struggles, but it looked like he kind of. Yeah, it was good to get him out there, and he, he made a huge play for us early. So um, I'm excited about where he's at right now. We'll kind of see where this thing goes um, throughout the week and as we continue forward. But I'm excited for him. I was excited for him when he made that play. It was a big play, and it was good to get him back out there. And I do, I do. It should hopefully build some confidence for him.